more military drills. In the wake of the North's latest nuclear test, now yesterday, the U.S. agreed to allow South Korea to beef up its missile system as the U.N. Security Council held its second emergency meeting in a week. Seth Lemon has the latest. For a second day in a row, South Korea's military conducted live fire drills in a show of force against North Korea, this time using warships equipped with guided missiles. On Monday, the UN Security Council held an emergency meeting on the North's weekend test of its most powerful nuclear device to date. He is begging for war. War is never something the United States wants. We don't want it now. But our country's patience is not unlimited. The U.S. is drafting a proposal for new U.N. sanctions, which it will circulate this week, aiming for a vote Monday. The European Union says it's fully prepared to support tougher economic and diplomatic measures. They're playing with fire, and the flames could rapidly spread to the entire region and the whole world. The White House said it's not ruling out military options, a sentiment echoed by Russia Monday, one of North Korea's primary trade partners. Russia's deputy foreign minister said if this continues to happen at such an alarming tempo, then it is inescapable that at some point we will have to consider our own military response. The U.S. and South Korea have agreed to lift restrictions limiting how powerful South Korean missile warheads can be, enabling the South to strike with more force in the event of a military conflict. Seth Lemon for CBS News.